okay let's come for this so what are the what makes the how, how the wedge will move the the wedge will there's a diagram so let's come for this one the the weight of this rod will act vertically down m and g then there's a normal contact n1 then on the, on the on the wedge like this then what are the <coughs> <clears throat> what are other forces weight m two g normal contact n two tell me in what action the uh, wedge will move so left sir the wedge left, will move towards left, left sir so the acceleration of the wedge will be like this in what possible direction the rod the rod must move vertically down a one acceleration of the block acceleration of the rod a two is acceleration of the wedge okay these are the things. Okay, let's write equation of motion. First, like for the rod, for for the wedge, n one sine theta equal to m two a two. For the for the rod, m one g minus n one cos theta should go to m one a one. <laughs> How many unknowns are there? N one a two a one. We need one more equation. What is the only possible equation that is? Sir, for the rods. Uh, sir, for, for sir, the walls will exert a normal contact. That that will be in horizontal direction, no? Because n one sine theta will will the n one sine theta force will act on the wall. The wall will also exert here. Altogether, the rod will not move along x axis because the wall will not permit, no? So the the equation would be constraint equation, sir, along the common contact. Mm, got that one. One more equation is what happened. We have to go for ah uh, yeah. Sir, we can uh, write an equation for the rod, no, sir, moving downwards. I wrote no. This is a thing. Ah uh, yes, sir. Yeah, you you do whatever you want. You do what you want. Your wish. I'm not uh, suggesting. Sir, anything. pseudo. What what will be that one? I want answer. No, any method. Okay, th this much is there. <coughs> Let, let's do one thing. I'm I'm interested in these two points. A point P one on the rod, point P two, and and let this be point P three. What is P one P two? Now at at this instant P one P two are in contact. Okay, are you seeing in the question? P one P two are in contact. Will I agree? Okay, now uh, let's come for the second diagram. How how the how the wedge wedge will move towards left? No. The wedge has shifted towards the where is the rod? Rod will be there only. so i think uh, i have given this diagram is very important eh? so if you are able to imagine okay well fine good uh, where is the point the point p1 of the rod will be there only the point p2 was here and and now it is p3 you look at the position sol the position of rod has not changed eh? Are you getting? You no, know, the dotted line also I'm showing. The rod has not displayed vertically, so horizontally. Only it has slid, it has slided 
on the pen? Vertically, that one. Are you seeing the blue color dotted line? I think that this much is what available. Huh? I can't show more than this. Huh? All of you uh, getting this? Uh, tell me like a where uh, earlier the rod was in contact where? P2. At P2. The rod was in contact at P2. No, no, no. Now, now where it is in contact, it is in contact at P3, no? Fine, this one. So in what action there is a relative motion, anybody? In what action there's a relative motion? The late, there is a relative motion along the incline, no? And look at normal contact. Normal contact N1 non zero. What do you mean by that? The rod and the wedge are not losing contact, no? Then if they don't lose contact, means any reason, the acceleration along common normal must be equal. So therefore, now I'll, I'll proceed like this. Huh? This is the Incline. So first acceleration of the acceleration of what is this of the wedge? Acceleration of the rod. Then in what action the acceleration must be equal? Acceleration along common normal must be equal. So what is this common normal? This is along the incline. Now tell me what I should equate. Acceleration along common normal must be equal. The reason for that N1 is not equal to zero. So here I'll write the condition as N1 not equal zero acceleration along common normal must be equal. Ah, okay, what, what I should equate now? A2 sine theta should be equal to, uh, <coughs> if this is theta, th this should be theta, no? Should be equal to A1 cos theta. Okay, now three equations, three unknown. Solving them, we'll get the required answer. This is equation one, two, and this is three. Sir, so once can you repeat the last statement? Acceleration along common normal must be equal because normal reaction is zero, no? A normal reaction is non-zero. N1 is non-zero. So this is a common normal. A2 cos theta is not equal to A1 sine theta. Because there's relative motion along the incline. Perpendicular to incline, there's no relative motion. So therefore, the accelerations must be equal. So now, uh, see, already we have discussed long back, the very first problem, two blocks kept on a floor. I, I pushed it with the horizontal force. That only I applied here. You don't think that sir is teaching some new concept, nothing. The, the very first like a chapter only, the very first day, the topic only, I say that I'm going to use this everywhere. Finish on the chap the very first day only the chapter got over actually. Fine, this one. So solving this one, two, three will get the required answer. So what is this uh, further? A2 should be equal to A1 cot theta. Okay, just take screenshot, I'll slide down. We'll go for next problem again. <coughs> 